Hey gang, welcome to Bald Eagle Fishing Adventures. And today, not fishing, um, but I'm out here and I wanted to uh, share a little bit about this fishing rod that I've got here that I'm holding. You guys have seen a segment on this on a short video um, about, uh, about the spinning rod. This spinning outfit right here, bluefin tuna baby. Um, this is going to be used for when the you have the foamers, which is when the tuna are on the very top feeding and they're basically foaming the water. If you can't get them to bite the Mad Mac lures and the troll, sometimes it's a good idea. Break one of these out and put some poppers on and cast those puppies out. See if you can pick up uh, the tuna that way. Um, you just have to have the full arsenal at all times ready to go because you know, you're going to be offshore anywhere between 30 to 50 miles. And uh, you want to be able to have, you know, all the tools necessary to do what you can to land one of these big babies. So anyways, to go over with you really quick. Um, so the reel, this thing is a massive reel. Uh, it supposedly has 55 pounds of drag. Um, I've put some good pressure on this thing. It's amazing. Um, it definitely goes up to the 50 pound range. I put it on my scale just to see. Uh, so the big question is, how long will this last? How well are the gears inside? There's a whole slew of, you know, what, what is the question mark as far as this is concerned of how it will up, you know, hold up against one of those big tunas. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, this thing is a, what they call an NGK uh, 14,000. It's the biggest model they make. And I'll have a link to this as well. So if you're looking at picking up a, a big spinning reel and you want to, you know, you want to be able to do that as well as far as, you know, throwing poppers and stuff, this might be something you might want to check out. And the other nice thing too is I looked at some of these spinning reels and I mean, the price on some of this stuff is just some serious sticker shock. This was under a hundred bucks. So in my opinion, I just got to try it. I mean, you know, I, like I said, I, I attach this thing to, to a, a, a to a very strong sturdy area and i with the with the uh, the measuring device on there and i put torque on this thing pulling it and i mean it went up to 50 pounds before any line started to slip uh so i thought that was pretty impressive um anyways i've got this thing spooled up with 80 pound braid it has about 800 yards of 80 pound braid on here so i mean this thing holds a, just an immense amount of line. Um, you could truly troll if you wanted to uh, with this thing. It would be impressive to hook into a bluefin on the troll. But uh, anyways, my, my main use for this is going to be uh, with poppers, and I'll show you what that is in a minute. Um, One little quick thing, too, I wanted to add um, was the poppers that I'm going to be using on that spin cast. I mean, this is a serious big boy here. I mean, this thing is, it's just, it's pretty awesome. It is, uh, let's see, it is total length about eight inches um, to, to this here. So about seven and a half to eight inches. Big lure, uh, you can see really push a lot of water. Uh, you just huck this thing out there as far as you can into that school of, uh, of boiling or uh, foaming tunas and hold on. Hopefully this will be the ticket. I've heard clear and stuff, anything with kind of a pinkish color. You can see some of the pink here. Um, hopefully this will be dynamite. And then I also heard that the clear ones are also really sought after. This is a little smaller one, a little smaller popper, um, pushes some water as well. So again, you know, if you're not getting bit with one, you try the other. And uh, it's got a couple little ball bearings in here. Uh, to weight the back end of this thing for casting. So it lands really nice. And um, yeah, anyways, uh, looking forward to uh, trying this one out as well. And one thing I wanted to let you know, the one thing I did do, um, I upgraded all the hook systems. Matter of fact, these poppers didn't come with hooks. You have to, you have to rig them with hooks. Um, so I have the hooks on here and uh, the heavy duty split rings. Um, I, I ha added that with it as well. And I even did my Mad Max. I changed out the uh, split rings on that. And I'll go over a little bit uh, about that stuff on another video. But anyways, so a couple of poppers. Just wanted to share that with you. Definitely want to have these on board. Like I said, you got to toss them into the foamers. Anyways, see you later, gang. 
Um, the rod is an ugly stick. It's an eight footer. It's a full spin, spin cast rod. And, um, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it, 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 it looks to be a real beast as well. Uh, you know, beautiful rod setup, um, eight footer, yeah, line class on this thing is it's 30 to 65 pound, uh, rated and, uh, it'll throw out up to a four ounce lure, probably even go past that as well. Um, just seems to be a real beast, nice, heavy duty rod. Um, as you well know, Ugly Stick is a well-known uh, brand for uh, Shakespeare, and um, I, that's pretty much a lot of my pulls have been that that uh, Ugly Stick style. So anyways, just wanted to share this with you. I'll have more information about this uh, in the description. So if you guys are so inclined and you want to uh, look at purchasing one, you can. Um, but yeah, uh, looking forward to putting something big on the end of this thing. So anyways, guys, it's always a pleasure. Had fun with you. And thanks for checking out one of my videos. If you like what you saw and you like the content, please hit that subscribe button. I sure appreciate all of you. Take care, gang. Bye.